hello and welcome to another unboxing video today we're unboxing this Asus laptop this model is the X415e so let's have a look around the box now let's open it up This is the power cord. This type of cord is called C5 power cord. So if you ever want to buy a replacement, search for C5 power cords. This is the power brake. It's a 65 watts power brake. It's also a universal power brake as it supports voltages from 100 to 240 volts. So you can use it about anywhere in the world. This is the user manual, it comes in various languages. It has two USB ports on one side and one audio port for your headphones. And on the other side you have a USB-C connection the power connection, HDMI port, and another USB port. On the bottom you have two speakers for stereo sound. Now let's open up the laptop and have a look. Now I'm going to connect the laptop to power, turn it on, and walk you through the setup guide for the laptop. So first you will select the language Hi there. Then you will get a screen where Cortana welcomes you A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there And we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do Use your voice or the keyboard along the way And if you'd like me to stay quiet just select the little microphone icon towards the Then bottom you will select the region which is basically the country you are residing in. Then it will ask you to select the keyboard layout you prefer. And it will ask you if you want to add another layout.
After that, it will search for your Wi-Fi network and will ask you which network you want to connect to. This is necessary to download any Windows updates. It will take some time to do all the installation and updates. The laptop will restart a few times until installation is complete. You have to accept the Windows 10 license agreement. By the way, the laptop comes with Windows 10, but you can update to Windows 11 for free. Then you can sign in or create a new Hotmail, Outlook or Live account. Then if you then you will have to create a pen Then you'll have the option to enable or disable multiple features of Windows. Then it will inform you that you can backup your files to OneDrive, which is a Microsoft Cloud service. Then it will give you the option to upgrade to Windows 11. So I decided to go to Windows 11 because we are still in the setup phase. Now you can just sit back and just wait for it to finish the installation. We'll go into Windows Update to check if there is any other updates necessary. Yeah, there are several updates for Windows 11, so I decided to update them and Set up the time and date of the computer, make sure everything is okay. So there was a BIOS update available and I decided to go ahead and update the BIOS. Never shut down your laptop or PC while the BIOS is updating. So Windows finish updating all the Windows 10 updates and all that is remaining is to download Windows 11. So we come to the conclusion of the video. We saw how the unboxing of the laptop and how to update and set up Windows 10. And the last step will be to update it to Windows 11, which will be straightforward. Thank you very much for watching till the end of the video. See you next time. Bye bye.